All right, uh, welcome to uh, Stats XL13. Uh, my name is uh, Miles Chen. I will be your uh, instructor for this class. And uh, this is going to be our class website. So I, I request my program representative, uh, Sadie Ortiz, to uh, send you guys an email. So if you were registered by a certain date, you would have received the email. Maybe uh, some of you just added the class recently, and so you did not receive that email. Uh, so this should have been somewhere in the email, and uh, um, and if you didn't get it, we'll write this down, and uh, that will uh, explain the course. Okay. Uh, so I'll just uh, we'll just start off by going over, I guess, course policies, uh, et cetera, that stuff, and then we'll uh, dive into the. Uh, Material. Um, I guess, are there any uh, like administrative questions, like adding or anything like that? Anyone having? No? Okay. Oh, you know what? Actually, before we do this, let me uh, talk a little bit about maybe parking. Okay, so I don't know uh, how you guys found parking or whatnot. Uh, maybe you um, bought a parking pass, and if you did, uh, that's great. Um, or you had to pay $11, I believe, to park in uh, the structure. Um, so depending on uh, you know how comfortable you are walking around the uh, the Westwood neighborhood uh, late at night, um, you can uh, a lot of times you might be able to find street parking. Okay, so along uh, LeConte, which is the uh, the southern the street that forms the southern border of our campus, uh, so that's like where the the Ralphs is and now uh, like a Chick Fil A and that that street. Okay. Um, there's uh, there's meters along there, and the meters expire at 8 o'clock. Uh, it's two-hour parking, so if you get here at 6 p.m. or later, and you find an open meter, you can pay, um, it's a dollar per hour, so you can pay two dollars, that will take you up to 8 o'clock, and then after 8 o'clock, uh, it's free parking. Okay, so it's a little bit, maybe about 10, 12 minute walk to the south end of campus. Um, on the uh, west side of campus in the neighborhood, so around, along Gailey, uh, Strathmore, uh, those streets, okay, Ophir, things like that, um, Levering, I don't know, um, you might find uh, street parking as well. That's uh, two hour parking, um, but I think it ends at 6 p.m. So if you get here basically 4 p.m. or after, you can park your car. Uh, and you'll get two hours free, and then at six o'clock, the um, uh, I guess it's it's just free parking uh, until like I don't know six a.m. the next morning or something like that. Um, so you can uh, you can do that uh, depending on like uh, fraternity life or whatever is happening. Um, you uh, there may be a lot of cars or no cars, um, uh, and you so you might. It's a little bit hit or miss, okay, uh, regarding uh, parking there. So if, if you drive around a little bit, um, you might be able to find a spot. If you can't, then you might have to park on campus and pay the uh, pay the fee, okay. Um, if you're going to park anywhere inside the campus, you got to pay the full um, eleven dollars or get a parking pass. Okay, I think uh, I think that's it. Um, I don't know if there's any questions about parking. So if you, uh, you go to uh, our uh, the class web page, this is where it will take you, and you're going to pick Summer XL13, okay? And, uh, and so this is Statistics for the Life Sciences, and, uh, and this is our, our course information. So um, our midterm exam is going to be August 8th. And uh, our final exam is going to be September 19th. Um, I don't know if any of you received like a preliminary version of the course syllabus that might have had different dates for this. Okay, um, the calendar got changed a little bit because of Independence Day, 
And so uh, this is these are these are the set dates, and, and they are they are set now. So please uh, mark those days off in your calendar and make sure there's you're not working or you're, you're going to be in town these days. Okay. And, and that's you know you know it says if you know in advance you can't come, uh, you should drop the course. Uh, that's just kind of to protect myself, but um, it, you know. If you already know that one of these dates doesn't work out, um, let me know, and I'll, I'll try to be accommodating. But uh, if uh, you know if it doesn't work, then, then I'll say sorry, it doesn't work. But. And then we also have uh, quizzes on on these four days. Okay, so uh, just mark your calendar, make sure you can get to class on time for those. All right. So anyway, um, my email address is that. Um, and uh, you guys found this classroom okay. Uh, we meet from 7 to 10. And uh, I have office hours in the uh, Math Sciences building, uh, 8105J. So just Google UCLA Math and t uh, type in Math Sciences, and it'll show you uh, which building that is. And, uh, and I'm on the eighth floor, okay? Uh, some students complain it's difficult to find. Um, if you find the vending machines, in for the math sciences building. Across from the vending machines, there's glass doors, and there's an elevator right by those glass doors. Take that elevator to the eighth floor. Uh, and then my office is directly across from the elevator. Uh, I, I think people get lost because on the map, it looks like math sciences is connected to this other building called Bolter. Uh, and it is connected, but it's only connected on like some of the floors and some of the other floors it's blocked off and, and things like that. So it gets it, it can get confusing if you try to get to math sciences from the other building. So just enter math sciences from math sciences, you won't, you won't get lost. Okay. Uh, any administrative questions, contact Sadie Ortiz. That's like adding or something funny happened with your payments or something. Uh, she's the person to contact. Um, if any of you have a learning disability or a physical condition or, or whatever it might be, um, the people you need to contact would be uh, the Disabled Student Services, okay? And they will de determine, um, a lot of times, uh, you know, if you have like dyslexia or anything like that, um, they'll de decide that, you know, you're entitled to extra time on the exams or things like that. Uh, they'll just ask for some kind of paperwork uh, for that. Um, so please contact them. Don't uh, don't contact me because I I'm not qualified to make those kinds of evaluations or anything like that. Uh, so so contact uh, those people. Okay. Um, I've created a Facebook um, page for our class. Um, it, you're not required to join, but uh, but I encourage you to join there. Uh, and the Facebook discussion page. It, it varies from quarter to quarter. Um, sometimes there's no activity on it. Other, other quarters, uh, the students make good use of it. Um, this serves as a place where you can ask, um, ask me questions uh, regarding your homework or uh, anything about the class. I prefer, um, if you have Facebook, uh, I would prefer that you ask me questions about the homework here, okay? Because a lot of times when you have a question, many of the other students have the same question. And therefore, uh, your question and answer uh, can benefit the other students, okay? And then it's also a place where you can uh, con connect with each other. If, uh, if you're like, hey, I want to study, uh, anybody interested in the study group, you can uh, connect there um, without it getting too, like, I don't know. It, it's, I don't know. It's, it's just there so uh, for you guys. And you can answer each other's questions and things like that, okay? Uh, but sure, if you don't have Facebook, you're not required to join. There's no points or anything like that. You can just email me um, directly, okay? Um, of course, any personal issues, like I'm going to miss class this day or something like that, um, just email me there, okay? And actually, you don't even have to tell me you're going to miss class, okay? Because I don't take attendance. Um, if, you, if you guys want to be here, you'll be here, so. But, uh, but some of you uh, like to uh, let me know. Questions on any of that stuff? Okay. Uh, all right. Here is our textbook. What did I do? Oh, it's very good. Okay. So this is uh, this is our textbook. Uh, you can buy it uh, if you if you don't have it already. Um, 
please get a copy of the textbook. You'll definitely need it for the class. Um, you can buy it from the bookstore on campus. You can buy it uh, from Amazon or wherever you like. Apparently, there is a PDF floating around on the internet, which may or may not be, uh, I don't know what, <laughs> what the word is, OK? Uh, and then this is, a, this is a supplementary book. Um, I don't, it's not required. It's just recommended uh, for your understanding of statistics. Um, I'm not going to be testing you on material from this thing, but a lot of you guys are entering uh, the health sciences and maybe uh, will be reading uh, medical journals and things like that where uh, statistics is being used. Um, the author here, he's, I think he's also a doctor uh, and a statistician, and so he um, explains uh, a lot of statistical um, concepts with some anecdotes, and, uh, and I found it to be... Uh, to be useful, okay? It is a little bit pricey, uh, and it's a pretty skinny book, so I don't any, want anybody to be um, disappointed by it, but, uh, but, but I found it to be, um, to be helpful. And, uh, and, uh, and he also uh, produces uh, a few videos that explain some of the concepts, and I've, I've linked those uh, in our kind of homework assignments there, okay? And, then, uh, and if you click any of those links, uh, and make a purchase, I'll get like 2% or something. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, regarding a calculator, you guys need a calculator for this class. Now, it doesn't have to be a fancy graphing calculator or anything like that. If you do have a fancy graphing calculator, um, that's fine. Uh, that is perfectly adequate, but uh, graphing calculators cost like $100, and I can't, uh, you guys have already spent you know, like $600 on the class and $100 on the book. I don't, I feel bad asking you, telling you to spend another 100 on a graphic calculator. Um, so I really like scientific calculators. This is about 16 bucks, okay? Um, if you have a scientific calculator, uh, that's great. Um, any, any scientific calculator is probably fine. If you don't have one, uh, this is my uh, personal favorite. Um, and technically, any four-function calculator with a square root key is technically good enough, okay? Um, that said, your life will be uh, much, much easier with a scientific calculator, okay? Especially one that has uh, an answer key on it, where um, you can use the previous calculated results in the next step of the equation, okay? That's uh, something like that will make uh, your life a lot easier. If you don't want to, if you don't want to buy one, I'm not going to force anyone to buy anything. There, uh, I, I don't allow cell phones uh, or uh, iPads or uh, any any kind of device that communicates um, to uh, to be used as a calculator. Okay, uh, that's just because um, when you're working on a test with your calculator, I don't know if you're doing calculations or if you're texting someone the answer. So. So it just has to be a calculator, standalone calculator, okay? Uh, we'll talk about the, uh, the exams as they uh, approach, and, uh, and homework and lab assignments, uh, I'll go into a little bit more detail uh, later, okay? There are four quizzes uh, that we will have this quarter. Um, I'm pretty generous with the, uh, the grading of the quizzes, uh, and there's... Uh, of your, the four quizzes that you take, uh, only the top three will count, okay? So the, uh, your lowest quiz grade will be dropped. Whether your lowest quiz grade is a zero because you were absent that day and you couldn't uh, take it, or um, you just had a bad, bad week and didn't have a chance to study and so you got a, a low score, whatever your lowest quiz grade is, uh, that will be dropped and the other four, uh, or I mean the other three will be averages to form your quiz grade, okay? Uh, this is uh, the makeup policy. Basically, um, uh, if you know you're gonna miss class, let me know in advance, and we can uh, arrange a time for you to take the quiz. Um, if something happens, if there's an emergency and you can't come to class, uh, that's fine. Just, I need some kind of documentation or proof uh, that this thing actually happened. So if something happened to your car, just give me, uh, you know, a mechanic or tow truck receipt or something like that, okay? 
uh, traffic is not not an excuse that I accept for uh, missing the quiz. Okay, and if uh, the quizzes we start at seven o'clock, um, they're usually about a half hour, and so if you get to class late, like at seven twenty, um, you'll only have ten minutes to uh, to finish the quiz. Okay, uh, grading. That's uh, this is how I calculate your grade: fifteen percent homeworks and labs, twenty percent quizzes, and then midterm and final will uh, each make up thirty and thirty-five percent. So they they make up a, a heavy, a large portion of your grade. Okay, so make sure you prepare for those those exams. Okay, I don't have separate extra credit assignments, but on every quiz and every uh, exam, you can earn over a hundred percent. So if you get all of the questions right. Uh, you'll get over 100%, and uh, and that that's great. Okay. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, oh, I I should upload the um, I guess the uh, PDF of the syllabus also. Okay. Questions? Yes. What's the format of the quizzes, and in general, how many questions do you Okay. The uh, the quizzes are for uh, free response. Usually it's uh, a sheet of paper, front and back, maybe about four or five questions. Uh, it'll about have about half an hour. They're probably fairly similar to homework problems that, that I'll assign. Um, and, I, and I'll talk about, uh, I guess, the quizzes. Yeah, yes? Um, for the book, mm -hmm. are, I know that you post the solutions for the homework questions on online, uh -huh. but if you're going to be doing like just other practice stuff, are they in the back of the book, or is it just uh, the odd some, answers? Some, just the odd answers. Is there and a I don't know if manual? there's a solutions manual that has the even answers. There is a solutions manual, but I think they only give the odd odd answers. I think there's a like okay. a student solutions manual, but it only has the answers to the odd problems. I don't know if there's a one with even answer problems. Okay. But, um, but you can um, you can try the other problems and go uh, on the Facebook group and just say, hey, I tried these problems, you know, and these are the answers, you know, in a, in a comment, just say these are the answers I got, you know, did anyone else okay. try these out or something like that? Okay, that's a that's a, I think a good good thing. Yes. Do I allow auditing of the class? Um, so the uh, official answer is no. Uh, guests aren't allowed in the class uh, after today, okay? Because some people um, take the class for no credit, and they had to pay the full uh, full thing, and so they're it's not fair to them to just allow people to sit in. Things like that, so. Um, so that's there. Uh, you, you can take it pass fail, but um, I think. Uh, Letter grade is it's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the uh, the prereqs for this class is uh, well. You need to be comfortable with math. Okay. So you need uh, technically all you need is algebra to get through this class. Okay. But. Um, it's definitely, uh, th it's a fact that students who've taken like up through calculus in high school or uh, college, uh, whatever it might be, um, they do much better than the students who've maybe only taken up through algebra or college al algebra two or something like that, okay? And, uh, and it's not that we're using any calculus in this class. It's just that, um, The students who take in calculus, all of those algebra foundational concepts have become uh, basically ingrained in their head and automatic, uh, and, and they can process basically a lot of these math concepts um, very rapidly. Whereas uh, those students who've maybe just taken algebra or just uh, you know scraped by college algebra or something like that, um, those algebra concepts are still something that they have to actively think about and are kind of slow uh, to process through, okay? So I guess my, the analogy would be um, 
if you know someone who uh, just got their driver's permit, okay, they, that means they technically know all the, the rules and the laws of the road, and maybe um, they've driven behind the wheel for a, a few hours, you wouldn't then just tell this person who just got their uh, driver's permit, okay, you know, let's, uh, let's leave Los Angeles on uh, a Friday afternoon at four o'clock and drive up to San Francisco, okay? Because that's throwing someone who's inexperienced into, you know, a situation that <coughs> is, not, um, is not the best situation, right? Um, and so uh, what's, uh, so, but those of you who, who've driven, you know, for several years, you know, you, can, you feel like you can get into uh, any new car and, and drive and be just fine. And, uh, and driving has become completely automatic uh, in, in your thought process. And so the same type of thing happens uh, with math where these algebra concepts need to just kind of be automatic. And if, if that's you, that's great. Um, if you haven't taken a math class in many years, okay, um, or maybe you just barely got through algebra, I would definitely say these this first couple weeks um, brush up on all of your old algebra skills. Okay, just make sure um, you can look at you know decimals and fractions and percentages and get those um, those very good. Okay, because uh, we'll see we'll be dealing a lot with different decimals and uh, and I've seen students just just struggle. You know. I mean, there's a huge difference between 0 0.05 and 0 0.005, okay? And, uh, and to the uninitiated, it might not seem like there's a big difference, but basically one is 10 times larger than the other, and, uh, and it's going to have a huge impact on, uh, on your math. So uh, anyway, just, just make sure your, your algebra skills are up to snuff. Uh, if, uh, if you just need some stuff to help brush up, you can go to... Uh, my resources page, and I've linked to uh, Khan Academy, and they have a whole bunch of stuff uh, that can get, get you through. Okay, so if, if that's you, please, please, please take time to, uh, to get all of your algebra stuff uh, down solid and packed. Okay, and let me just uh, work through, uh, show you one of our homework pages, okay? All right, so this, is, uh, so this week uh, you have a homework assignment. Uh, maybe I should add a few more problems. I don't know. Um, there's no. Uh, we're not going to meet ne next week. Okay, it's Independence Day, so yay America! And uh, <laughs> uh, but we'll come back in two weeks, and, uh, uh, and 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 class will resume. So you've got two weeks, which uh, where there's no statistics, and uh, and it breaks my heart because I want to. I want you to teach, uh, learn statistics every day, uh, but uh, but that's not going to happen. So. Uh, so this is uh, your homework. So uh, I say, you know, read these sections in the book and uh, and do these homework exercises. Okay. So at the end of each section, so the way I recommend is uh, you approach your homework is you uh, you read a section in the book and then do the problems associated with that section. Okay. And actually, uh, the your book is set up very much uh, in that style um, uh, to uh, to work that way. Uh, what I don't recommend is you do all the reading at once and then go back and do all the problems at once, okay? Uh, and then, well, this first week, it's pretty, it's not too bad. Um, but try to do, a, you know, a little bit of statistics uh, several times rather than waiting until uh, one day and doing all of your statistics homework there, okay? So I've, I've posted a few things. Uh, and I said, uh, you know, go to this web page and, uh, and watch some of these videos, okay? This is the guy who made uh, that other book that I've, I've recommended. And it's like this. I'm not sure what he does. He does, okay. And then, um, and a lot of you have done this already, um, but if you haven't, um, I need your email addresses, okay? Uh, I know UCLA Extension has your email address, but because of their privacy policy, they're not allowed to, uh, they won't give me your email address. So you just have to give them to me, basically, implicitly saying uh, I'm allowed to have your email address. So um, 
A lot of you have already done this. If you haven't done it, um, just click this button and then fill that out, okay? And it's just, what's your name and email? Uh, and which class are you in? Okay, and then um, and then I put a lot of the answers to the homework problems on here, okay? So, so these are text answers, but I've also made um, video answers. Uh, so uh, these these questions, um, I've worked the uh, the problem out uh, on a video on a little whiteboard, and, uh, and wrote out the answers, and and they're there to help you. Okay, so uh, please don't uh, hinder your uh, learning opportunities by going straight to the video. Okay, so please read the problem and try to do the problem yourself, and uh, and then after you've done it, you can check the video to verify your answer. Okay, um, if you get stuck. You know, go back into the reading and see if you can figure it out. And if you still can't figure it out, then you can watch the video, okay? Um, but I, you know, it requires a little bit of self-control in that you should start the video, and then as soon as you see how it gets started, hit pause, and then try to work out the rest of the problem on your own, okay? Because anytime you watch a video, it, or watch me do something on the board, everything makes perfect sense. Uh, but then when you try it out on your own, that's when uh, get confused or get stuck, okay? So, uh, so don't do that. And, uh, and it's usually not a problem for, uh, for you guys, but you know, please don't just fast forward to the end of the video, look at the answer, and copy that down on your um, homework, okay? Uh, you know, the homework, I don't check very thoroughly, okay? It's, it's mostly for you guys, and, uh, and all I do is I just kind of flip through to make sure you did all the problems, and if it looks like you did all the problems, I give you full credit, okay? I don't go through and try to grade each individual problem. So. I don't really care if you did uh, if you did well or not on the homework, but it's it's for your benefit that uh, that you did a good job on the homework. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I think that's it. Questions before we go on? Yes. So when it comes to the midterm and the final exam. Like, what percentage of the material is we're going to cover in the class versus the percentage of material you know, that is in the book will really be on those tests? Which is more important? Uh, okay. Uh, I'd say 99% of the stuff on the midterm and final exam is definitely going to be stuff that I've at least mentioned and talked, you know, I've, I've talked about in class, okay? If, uh, and definitely uh, everything at least will have been covered in the, the homework, so I'd say the homework and what's done on the uh, in lecture will make up should make up everything on the uh, the midterm and final exam. Okay, um, the books are there to uh, to supplement uh, and you know clarify anything that that wasn't clear or things like that. So, um, anything else? Yes. Um, what topics in the Khan Academy should we look at? What we want to brush up on those? Uh, okay, so basically solving uh, linear equations. Okay, solving equations, uh, decimals, percentages, fractions. Uh, I don't know. I, I've list, I listed some of these on the uh, on the resource resource page. Okay, check that out. Uh, yeah, just make sure you're, you're comfortable with decimals and percentages and, and fractions. Okay, because because uh, we'll we'll be dealing with those. Oh, order of operations, okay. I mean, that sounds like elementary, but uh, people get mixed up with the order of operations, okay. So make sure that's, that's also good. Uh, and, you know, some of the uh, homework answer videos, I don't know, they might be like three years old by now. I think they're still okay, but if, if something doesn't seem right about the video or something, just let me know, okay. I want... You know, this is statistics. Uh, when I took it in undergraduate, uh, in my undergraduate studies, uh, it was my favorite class. Okay, it literally changed my life. Okay, I studied engineering uh, in, uh, in undergrad, and then, and now I'm a stats major, pursuing my PhD. And so, you know, that statistics class, I, I credit for uh, having changed my life, and and I loved it. And so, I'm, I'm hoping you guys will uh, at least enjoy and earn, earn an appreciation for the subject. Okay?
Okay. I'm not gonna. I don't expect you guys to all become statistics majors after taking this class, but uh, at least you, you'll you'll gain an appreciation for the uh, the subject. So anyway, I want this class to be great, and all the resources uh, presented uh, in the class to to be uh, to be great. So if, if anything is not good. You know, just let me know, and uh, and you won't hurt my feelings. Um, if I've got the time to do it, I'll uh, I'll fix it. And if I don't have the time, I'll just say okay, well, maybe next time. But, um, but that's it. Okay. So with that, um, let me put a create a little break in our video.